Hey guys, we got some news coming to the uh, latest Sif show um, that Beta Ray Bill might be joining her in her series. So I think this is going to be an interesting idea. I'm going to call it a rumor for now just because uh, it's coming from mcucosmic.com. Not really sure as to where their sources is or anything like that, but uh, just because I'm not sure about them, I'm going to call it a rumor. So uh, let's jump into it. So here they have a few things about a bunch of the different Disney streaming service Marvel shows, um, about the Scarlet Witch, Loki, Hawkeye, Falcon, and Lady Sif. Um, but they have for for the Scarlet Witch and Vision, they talk about how there's going to be more of them settling down in suburban, and then they have problems with that, and that's where things go awry when they try to you know give Vision a soul. So that could be something interesting there to do with the uh, Scarlet Witch uh, for the Scarlet Witch and Vision show or Vision and Scarlet Witch show, um, and then for the Loki, they just say that uh, Carnilla, Carnilla, and Yuli might be the villains of the show. Um, so not too much there, and then they say for the Hawkeye show that Kate Bishop might uh, he might the whole story might might revolve around Hawkeye training Kate Bishop uh, to fight against new criminal groups called uh, new criminal group and the trick shot will appear so that could be something interesting there uh, and I think it could be quite interesting to see as to where things go there and and, and Balky and Bucky and Falcon would also follow, um, you know, the follow them. We a spy through there, following them with Shield and Age of Thirteen and things like that for their show. So I think that could be really cool. I definitely can't wait to see as to where things go with this. But the cool part here is they talk about how um, that uh, Lady Seth, her show, will be, she'll be facing um, Enchantress and uh, Enchantress, and she'll be teaming up. Uh, could include. Uh, Beta Ray Bill. So I think that's really going to be interesting to see that. Now, for me, Beta Ray Bill is interesting. Now, he's already been teased in in, uh, in Thor Ragnarok. He was one of the statues. Uh, he was in the trailer for Thor Ragnarok heck, um, in, in the opening scene or early on in the trailer when Thor's flying into Sakaar and you see a bunch of these kind of, uh, it's, it's like a, on the side of the building, all the champions, right? And Hulk being de- constructed, right? Uh, but you have all kinds of different other ones. You have Man Thing, you have Thor and you have Beta Ray Bill. Now, the idea that Beta Ray Bill is already out there, that's what it already means. It's already existing. And if Lady Sith could be out, she got banished from Asgard by Loki when he was pretending to be Odin. And, um, you know, Beta Ray Bill could be out there. She could have met him on her journey. And I think that could be really interesting. Now, the only thing I, I wonder about that is that a Lady Sif show, because, you know, if they kept it grounded, she could easily, it could easily be a, um, it could easily be a lower budget uh, show. I mean, it it would work, it would benefit obviously anything would benefit from the hundred million dollar budget, but there's not there wouldn't be ha- there wouldn't need to be too much CGI if she's just do whatever she, depending on what she's doing. Now she has Lady Sif, then that gets she has um if she has Beta Ray Bill as a sidekick throughout the show, then that could be really interesting. Maybe setting him up to testing his watch to the waters with him to seeing how fans react to someone like to a character like that who's very similar to Thor, but. Very, could be uh, off-putting, you know. Just not most people to look at Peter and Bill and just kind of get disgusted by that, like that, and not thinking that he don't take him seriously, right? So I think it could be really cool, and I think setting him up in that show could be an interesting idea. The only thing is that he would be really expensive to do, and he would bring the show up to a hundred million dollar budget, uh, just because he would have to be a straight-up mocap character, just like Hulk, Thanos, and all those other characters like that, right? He'd have he with the same thing, just like Hulk, Th- Hulk, Groot, and Rocket. All those characters, pretty much the same. Uh, uh, where you just wear you wear the CGI dots, right, and you walk around on set. So I think that can be interesting to see as to where things go with that. Um, I'm not really sure as who you go, who you go with, who you cast as Beta Ray Bill. Um, I remember the best casting uh, for a character like that would be Michael Clark Duncan, who played Kilowog in the Ryan Reynolds uh, uh, Green Lantern movie, and I think that was the best casting, uh, one of the best castings uh, ever. You know. Um, just because he was so perfectly cast, his voice fits perfectly for that. But unfortunately, obviously, he's passed away and he can no longer play that. But I think a voice like that, someone, you know, trying to emulate him as Kilowog would be the way I would do it um, and get someone like that. Maybe that's someone uh, who could actually, you know, put on the somewhat most of the costume because maybe you could get away with for a show. I mean, keeping it high budget still. Um, you could get away with him not having to be completely CGI. Maybe he could be have like most of the costume, most of this, and then the arms and the head and the legs. Those are are are, um, are CGI. 
but the rest that's covered up by armor is not CGI. Depends on how they, they want to go with this. If they want to make him bigger than, uh, taller than, than an average human, you want to make him seven foot tall, uh, then maybe, you know, you put the actor in stilts or something, you know, and then that make, becomes a little bit more difficult uh, to do that. Or they could do what they did with uh, Josh Brolin and Thanos. If you look behind the scenes, he wore the mocap suit, did all the stuff, but had like a stick with a giant Thanos head way above his head so that the actors would have to look up over him to get that idea. And he could, you know, they couldn't realize, know how tall he was going to be fitting in the um, in the scenes, you know, if he has to go through a doorway, is he going to fit through there, right? So I think they could do something like that, and I think it could be interesting to see as to where things go with this. But uh, as, as far as casting, I'm not too sure so where, where they could go with this. But like I said, someone like uh, Michael Clark Duncan was as Kilowog, I think could be in it, the way I would go. I would treat him pretty much the same character um, as far as casting, you know, similar to that. So let me know what you think, guys, about this in the comments below. Again, this is just going to be a rumor because it's coming from this uh this site and who knows as to what uh if you know if they're trustworthy or not we'll have to wait and see but uh right now so tr you i'll say it as a rumor because it's really early on uh and we just got the announcement got the rumor of the show so we'll have to wait and see as to where things go from here so let me think guys about this in the comments below i'll see you guys in the next video peace out i'm captain america here to talk to you about one of the most valuable traits a soldier or student can have subscribing sometimes subscribing is the key to victory sometimes it leads to very little and it seems like it's not worth it and you wonder why you waited so long for something so disappointing how many more of these you're still here don't forget to like comment and subscribe guys peace it's over